All right. Hello, nephews, nieces, and anyone else listening to me out there. Uh, today I'm going to play a little Mirror's Edge Catalyst for you. So I really liked the first Mirror's Edge. It was, uh, it was interesting. It was kind of a new concept. And, and it does really look great. I actually just watched another video about how the Mirror's Edge game looks great. Oh man, that, I did not know the fall was quite that high and would kill me, but it did. Um, <laughs> so, and, uh, but anyway, yeah, so I like, and I really like this concept too. Uh, you know, that this, uh, this one video I was watching, uh, also pointed out a really interesting thing saying Mirror's Edge, it's, it, it kind of looks like a first person shooter game. Uh, parts of it even play like a first person shooter game in the first game. You could, you could like take a gun off of the, off of like the guards or the people that would try to stop you and, you know, then run around and you could shoot the, and you could shoot people with it. Um, but it was, it was definitely not the point of the game. Um, you, you know, you had whatever bullets was in the clip and then you just threw the gun away. And so the, the idea is that, you know, it's this, it's this first person, uh, perspective and everything, but, but what it really is, is it's a racing game. And so you do a lot of going through and trying to find the, the, the fastest, uh, the fastest, uh, course, the, the fastest, uh, path through around the city and in doing things and and it's been really cool and and also um you know i'm a big story guy i like a game that has a, a bit more of a complex interesting story some people will say mirror's edge did some people will say mirror's edge didn't i i kind of uh well you know what i'll i'll talk a little more about this that later anyway uh so so in catalyst here you have a little swing rope and i've been wondering what happens if when that train you just saw go by what happens if i'm swinging when that train goes by so i'm gonna i i pro it's probably just you fall off and die <laughs> but <laughs> but we're gonna find out because i'm just gonna swing here until a train comes by um and i can talk a little more about the game so yeah. Oh my gosh. It just passed by. It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. I can swing here all day and the train won't even stop and the train won't even hurt me. So that, that was anticlimactic. Um, anyway. Yeah. So a uh, story behind mirror's edge in, in the first game, I actually really enjoy the story. I think it is I think it is actually really well done. I, I think what makes it good is that it's a personal story and that's actually something really nice. You don't see that in video games a lot. Uh, there you get a lot more of that kind of like, Oh, we're going to end the world action movie type of a thing, but, but you don't get a personal story. And one of the things I liked in mirror's edge, uh, the first one. Yeah. Look at that. It, it didn't even, it didn't even do anything to, to me. Uh, one of the things I liked in the first Mirror's Edge game, but yeah, is, that, is it, it's that, uh, it's a personal story. It's not a, uh, it, it's, it's, I, I mean, there's a bit of like, you know, you're trying to, you know, change the way the whole city works and, you know, overcome the dystopian government. Uh, but, uh. But ultimately, the the first game had it, it was mostly just kind of focused around your your runner, uh, her named Faith, and you have a sister who gets framed for a crime, and you have to and you have to help her. You have to you have to do something to get to the bottom of it to to keep your sister from getting framed, and going into the gulag or whatever. So, uh, so, so it was an interesting story and, and I thought, you know, kind of, it played on a couple things and, and I kind of, and I just thought, you know, Faith and, uh, her sister, Kate, who was a police officer, were both pretty good characters and it was, uh, it was admirable in that sense. 
Um, sadly, I don't really get that sense from Mirror's Edge Catalyst here. I feel like the, the I, I've heard at least one person say the story is more complex, and I'm not even totally sure. Oh man, the, the guards got me there. I'm not, but yeah, I'm not even sure I totally agree. I think the, I think the characters are, I think the characters are a little flatter. Faith in particular, I, I got a vibe from her that she was more interesting in the first game. I, I got, uh, I got more of an interesting feeling that she had, had more going on, that she was kind of just trying to make her way and live by her principles, but um but you know didn't didn't necessarily have a chip on her shoulder or anything whereas in catalyst yeah she's definitely got a chip on her shoulder very very typical you know you know quote unquote strong female character just trying to just you know trying to show everyone that she's powerful and, and you can't mess with her and all of that stuff which is sadly you know kind of boring um Hmm, yeah, let me pause this. I don't know why it is not loading, so hold on one second. Is there not a... Alright, so it's looking a little different because the game silently crashed on me behind that loading screen, so guess I gotta guess I gotta play harder to make sure I don't get killed, because apparently that will mean it crashes behind a loading screen. Um, maybe a interaction between the recording software and the game, or uh, maybe just maybe just a bad game that doesn't work that well, um, and also totally re derailed my thoughts. So, so I'm gonna do one of these delivery missions. This one's a covert delivery mission, but I've never seen those be one of the one of the problems with Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Here is that it's it's very uh, time sensitive. Like the the time limits on these delivery missions are extremely unforgiving, and um, y you know that 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 could be you you know like I said it, it's kind of a racing game. So hey, isn't that isn't that kind of isn't that good even you know that it's challenging and you got you you've got a short time limit? But I just don't I don't I don't think it does that. I think. Uh, I think it just makes it more frustrating because it's the tolerances are so low and and even like the suggested uh, the suggested routes that it gives you with that little red thing going around um, and the the way red things go, those usually don't work. You have to find shortcuts around those to actually get it there in time. And I'm just going, you're killing me. You're killing me. Like, and, and this is just on like the, the, the little side missions. This isn't even on like the big important story missions. The story missions aren't timed. So I don't know. It's, it, it's frustrating. Anyway, this one has a whole thing of you're not supposed to be seen. You're trying to be covert, but, um, like I, I barely pay attention to that and it's always fine even. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 I almost made it there. Uh, man, so close. Um, anyway, so anyway, uh, Andon, I heard you just got your yellow belt in karate. So congratulations. Good work. Uh, sounds like you must have worked hard to get good, learn, learn your karate moves and all of that. And uh it's actually so i'm proud of you for that that's good job it uh it's actually interesting i i almost got to yellow belt i did a little karate and then i kind of just quit because I, I can't remember if it wasn't that interesting to me or if there was actually even something about the the dojo i went to oh come on okay i made it that time so, yeah, impatient man, no joke. Um, anyway, yeah, so I did karate. I remember it. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I was just not that good or, or maybe not that interested. I mean, I might have just been legitimately kind of lost interest. I, I remember kind of wanting to make yellow, at least make yellow belt, but, uh, but never did. 
and you have so good job uh you know gotta gotta appreciate and uh love what you're doing there so so well done keep it up i hope you're planning on going to the the next belt i don't know what i don't know what the next belt beyond yellow is because i guess i guess because i gave up early so <laughs> Uh, so good job. Um, anyway, yeah, you're kind of one of my big inspirations for making a little video here. I know you always uh, talked about how fun it is to watch all these gaming YouTubers. And I recently just built my new computer. And it's uh, uh, pretty fancy, pretty cool. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, but one of the things is uh, the one of the software that was built in to uh, the, and kind of kind of came... Uh, as part of the driver package for the video card is uh, was something to uh, to record your video game so I started going hey you know and and thinks those gaming youtubers are so cool and you know what I could be one of those so here I am uh, we'll see if anyone uh, anyone other than you ever cares uh, but I don't it, it doesn't matter to me with that if they do or not because I got other things going on in my life. Uh, actually, yeah, I just started work as the... Oh, wow, I did not make that jump. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just started uh, work in the office at the lab I work at. It's been interesting taking on some new challenges, doing some different work. Uh, Going to be validating all our lab's new tests, making sure I get everything taken care of as we bring new tests online and that's really cool so yeah it's uh it's a, it's a it's good opportunity which is why i took the job so um anyway yeah mirror's edge though so anyway yeah i i just i haven't i haven't liked uh the 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 new one i haven't been as into the catalyst game even though it it does. I mean, I, I mean, even the visuals. Um, so one of the other things, one of the one of the big things that about this one, this game is, uh, it. This game's more of an open world. It has more of that. Just uh, you know, you can run around the city. You can pick up pick up those side missions like I just so showed you. And you you know, it's weird because I I remember when the first Mirror's Edge came out. I started going, um, I started going, um, oh yeah, this should totally be open world. Like it'd be so cool to just be able to run around and, you know, have some of these things be side missions. And, um, I got to admit, as I've played it for some reason, it just hasn't seemed to quite work out that way. Uh, it's, I, I, I think it was more interested at, I mean, it, you know, and it kind of makes sense again, if you think of it as a racing game, because racing games, you know, they're, they can be a little more level based and that's interesting. And sometimes you just want to be able to kind of have the one track and do that one track over and over and get really good at that track and learn all the different ways to run that track the best and all of that kind of stuff. And I and I think that's kind of what you did in the first Mirror's Edge game. And then in the second one, I think the open worldiness actually actually kind of takes away, actually makes it more tricky to to do that in a way that's that's interesting cuz cuz there's some of these you can get into one of these, but it it makes it a little more it, it makes it feel a little more like, well, you know, I got I had other things I can do, and and so like when I was running that race too, it wasn't just I was running that race and I was looking through, cause so I went by and I saw that thing down there that I stole the chip from, and then on the way on the way up I'm seeing those big uh, those big yellow things that are places where you know you can just steal data or I I honestly don't remember exactly what the what the story verification are, but another just kind of, you know, extra points thing that you, that you get in the game. And, um, yeah, there it was. And so, but you know, all of those are actually very distracting when I'm trying to go, when I'm trying to go, okay, let's, let's get a, uh, let's get a good runtime. Let's just go, go fast and run the course 
and get the uh, and you know get the get the best time possible. And so you know, again, it, it it's it's weird to me that that's the it's weird to me that that that's the case and that it didn't work out and and moreover that it didn't work out so so spectacularly i mean i mean i don't know if i'd call this a bad game i don't know if i'd say oh catalyst you know i liked the first mirror's edge but mirror's edge catalyst just sucks um you know i don't, I don't know if i i probably wouldn't be that harsh to it i think um that you know and there so so like in the first game the the cut scenes were done in just just like animated um interesting idea uh it didn't really work out it kind of just made it the made it more of a jarring change between cutscene and and uh and gameplay and and that's jarring enough you don't necessarily want to do more to make it feel un unnatural and disconnected between those two aspects of a game so uh so yeah uh so so that didn't work so so the first game had things that didn't work out too uh so i kind of recognize that you know this game as well it's like well you know some aspects didn't work out but uh but i i kind of kind of respect it for trying something even if it didn't work out uh you know there's that times where you're like well you know i expect i respect that you're 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 trying something new you're you're trying to do something innovative even if uh, what you did didn't quite work, um, and and so so I I can kind of feel that way about it, but yeah, unfortunately, I'm just I'm just not I'm just not as into it as I was the first the first game. You know, I think a lot of the stuff in the first game just worked out a little better, and uh, so anyway, so oh oh more guards. Oh, they're looking to shoot me. All right. Ha! Okay, just punch him in. Just punch him in the in the helmet helmeted face. I'm sure that'll work out. I mean, it actually did. So, hey, who am I to judge? All right, let's get away. Run away now to make my daring getaway. I'm gonna have to get away from the helicopter before I make my daring getaway, but I can do it. Not if I go that way, though. That's just a cliff. I will fall down. So, so here we go. Ah, ah. Yeah, so it sounds so it sounds like Richard is doing all sorts of things. He's in like three different clubs at school and um you know, making things and just doing all kinds of interesting stuff. So uh good for you. I mean, it's good to get involved, good to be, you know, active in doing things and learning new learning new stuff uh don't even don't even know what to say you know i just got just got a list of all like the different clubs you're in and whatnot so uh so if you can just get in touch uh let me know what's uh what's been the most interesting to you what have you been learning the most from or or uh the mo what's been the most interesting to you oh jeez. Oh, geez, those are the big guys. Uh, okay, I'm leaving. Let's get going. You know, he who he who lives to f he who lives to fight another day lives to fight another day. How does that saying go? I don't know. I don't know. I'm being chased by cops. <laughs> I can't think right now. Um. But yeah, again, you know, one of the things I have appreciate, always appreciated about this game, and uh, the the first one, and that they actually did manage to do uh, do again pretty well in this uh, in the second one here. 
which again though it's a prequel i I'll, I'll have to complain about prequels again at some point at some point later because yeah i don't i don't get why people think it's such a great idea to do a prequel like it's 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 the least creative least interesting thing you can do with the thing and I, I don't know why it's so popular to do prequels, but but one thing I have always appreciated about the Mirror's Edge games is the aesthetic. And Catalyst, I think, does do pretty well with the aesthetic. Um, it's kind of got white with uh, very kind of, you know, bright, solid primary colors. Um, and it gets this kind of cityscape really interesting. Um, let me find another good spot where you can see that. That actually wasn't that great, but... Uh, but that, that again, you can see it's very kind of just like white and blue, and you know, very, very into just kind of solid colors. Uh, I, again, the, I, I like. Uh, I'm glad I actually did this after watching that one video because uh, it had a lot of interesting ideas in it, and they they had an interesting commentary. They said where they said uh, that the thing about Mirror's Edge is that it is all about concrete and it is all about like the harshness um, and yet kind of interesting texture and tones you can do with uh, painted concrete. And I think there could be truth to that. Like it is, uh, is an interesting, it makes sense as, as why the, why it has that kind of, you know, harsh white and white and primary color, often red, uh, aesthetic and so you get some of that you, and you still get a good bit of that here in the second game in mirror's edge catalyst uh it's got some got got a lot of interesting stuff and and you know there there's an interesting aspect to it too in that uh so the story is very you know there's kind of a dystopian uh you know totalitarian government and so the and so you get this whole so you get this whole aspect of like the 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 beauty and the the cleanliness of the city and all the all the white and whatnot are they're they're hiding a seedy underbelly and they're they're hiding the oh shoot i went the wrong way uh, um, but yeah, and, and and I don't know if the games have ever developed that really well. In fact, I'm I'm fairly sure that in a lot of ways they've failed to explore that idea very terribly effectively. But 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 it's a it's an interesting idea. This kind of like all oh, this beautiful and this beautiful you know kind of white and white and primary colored uh, white and red city is it it looks good it maybe looks good on the outside and has some appealing but the reality is that you see that it's it's sterile and lifeless and and all it does is you know cover up the 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 seedy underbelly of you know government corruption and uh and overpower and and abuse of power and you know that's an interesting idea again again though not not necessarily terribly well developed um I, in the first game i can kind of forgive it because in some ways i'd say uh it doesn't have to be again it's a uh, first game a little more of a personal story between uh, Kate and her sister, you know, what's, or uh, Kate and, yeah, K Kate and her sister Faith, the main character of the game, and, you know, what does that mean, and, you know, what, you know, how do those family dynamics work when you've gone to two different sides of, uh, two different sides of, sides of the, sides of the, the coin or society or, uh, uh, don't know exactly what I'm trying to say there, but you know when you're when you're when you're living in two different worlds, you know how do they how do you get along with how how do you how do you get along and how and how do you how does that how does that love and that fulfill uh, that familial caring for each other work out when you're when you're when you're living 
such different ty- styles of life and um, and again, you know that that's an interesting idea. And I, I guess for me, that was probably the saving grace for the first game. Um, and sadly, this uh, this this second game doesn't doesn't really have that. So it's a little less. So so in in a lot of ways, I find it a little less compelling. Um, but yeah, I I do think it gets the aesthetic. Uh, okay at least yeah still like the way the white looks against or all the the little red highlights will look against the white and oh 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 i thought you gave me the prompt oh! <laughs> no i did not have anything i could grapple onto at that time so so this is one of these things though the, these side missions in this open world they 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 feel less they, they feel more frustrating than they do like a cool race course. Um, maybe it's because I don't actually want something that short. Uh, you know, when you're doing a race, you kind of want more, more aspects you can, you can manipulate and get into and, uh, y you know, play around with to get a better time or whatever. And, oh, geez, did I not get them? Oh, geez, I didn't get that first group. Well, guess I'm restarting this mission. I thought I'd already got him, uh, but but yeah. So it just makes a lot of this, you know, because in the first game, you know, they had time trials too. But you know, it was very clearly just a time trial, and you could do things, and so it was a and it was a bigger course. So you just kind of did like, and 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 you felt really cool when you found a when you found a part of it that you could that you could shave a few seconds off your time with, and. You know when you cut when you got a little cool shortcut that's outside of the. Got a little more involved with them than I wanted to. Uh, you have to get a certain amount of involvement so that they distract people for you, so that you distract the people you're working for, but distract from the people you're working for. That is. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I thought there was like a ledge I could go along there. That's too bad. But yeah, so it ends up being just a lot of little missions. And these timers are so aggressive too. It's a lot of little missions where you where you have to where you have to do them over and over so that you can so that you can scout the route out and you can tell where you need to go and what you need to do cuz cuz it, it you know get those little those those little shortcuts that shave you seconds you know if you have a 30 second timer that's that's really significant if you have like if you have like a 5 minute time that you're shooting for you, it can be a little more forgiving you know you can you have a little more time you can play with to that if you need to shave a little time off of you don't oh 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 ho, ho. well this is one of those things too i want to be able to make a little mistake like especially on a mission like this when i'm just picking up a little side mission i want i want more time i can play with and i don't want to feel I, how, how is it expecting me to do that So I don't want to, but I don't want to feel like I have to do everything perfectly. Um, when it when it's just a little side mission like that, if I'm if I'm rerunning a course trying to, to get the best time on that course, then sure, yeah, I, I, I it's fine to be able to say, okay, yeah, I want I want to challenge a challenge a time that's gonna challenge me to you know execute everything just right and find a couple of good shortcuts and. All of that kind of stuff like that and yeah that that's kind of cool on a bigger thing like that um, but yeah on a little thing like uh, you know that's just a little side mission that you pick up I don't know like I don't I, I want to be able to be a little messy with the way I play that because that's what's gonna make me feel like I'm some you know cool uh, you know secret uh, 
you know, covert runner, you know, fighting the system and. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so. So anyway, um, Kaylin and uh, Kyler, uh, sounds like you're both doing good. Um, haven't heard of anything, any special accomplishments in your life, but I'm glad you're doing good. You're happy. You guys are still young. You got lots of time to do big, exciting thing. Uh, it does sound like uh, Callan's making a lot of friends in school, so I guess that's fun. Um, so, anyway, yeah, uh, if you got something you want me to talk about or just uh, want to let me know about, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll, maybe I'll include it in the next one I do of these. Uh, if you got a game you think I should play on the next one of these, you can, you know, always make a suggestion. I'm probably just going to play the games I'm interested in playing, so <laughs> might fall on deaf ears, but <laughs> you can try that. Um, let's see, anything else I want to say about about Mirror's Edge here? Because, I don't know, I do... There, there is all kinds of things I, I find interesting about this game and this series, but yeah, I just don't know. But I, I don't know if I can think of it right now. So, uh, yeah, I think maybe I will just talk to you guys later. I'll, although I don't know, I gotta, <laughs> I, I, I am stuck on this mission now. I'm going. I gotta, I gotta show you guys I can beat it. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to play a little longer. Uh, do, 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 do. Our little baby Alistair is doing fine. We took him to a friend's house last night and we met their baby, and so there were just cute babies all around. And that was fun. So. So, we're doing well. I uh, already talked about my job. That's going well. So, yeah, you know, just a lot of things going well in our life, which I'm thankful for. And, all right, you know what? I don't <laughs> I, I got better things to do than play this over and over again just, just to impress you guys. Um, so, yeah, you have a great, you have a great night. Um, best wishes, and I will see you around. white type of thing and just look I mean look at that that's it's just really cool really cool like bright white city but and then the story kind of have has this interesting thing going of oh you know the it's this bright white beautiful city it all looks so clean but it's it's hiding a dark underbelly um sadly they've never developed that 